Hello, my name is Michael Torbock and I work for Printed Service. In this video, I would like to show you the many different ways you can find information in the online helps. You invoke the online help either using the help menu or by hitting the F1 key. In many cases, the help is context sensitive. This means that the help page opens directly in that part of the application related to the help topic you invoked. The position where you currently are in the help is highlighted in the table of contents. The start page displays if there is no context sensitive link. The size of the help window depends on the application where you invoke the help from. The responsive design of the help fits the content of the window to the window size. This is done by minimizing the help controls so that you can always read as much content as possible. If you have very small help windows, you can show and hide the controls of the help using the hamburger button as it is known on internet sites. Do you want to see the complete table of contents? Then click the icon before the top item. By doing this, you go up one level in the table of contents. In the table of contents, you will also find a link that brings you to the homepage of the Prenect know-how server. This is where you will find all Prenect online helps and their various versions, all video tutorials as well as basics and workflow data. You can scroll through the help page by page by clicking the forward and back buttons. By default, each help gives you the option of going between table of contents, index and glossary like in a book. In the table of contents that is sorted by topic, you can open the various topic sections by clicking the plus button. Click the button again to close the topic section. In video tutorials, we offer you short films that show you specific functions or workflows visually. You start the video by clicking the link or preview image. In the index, you will find a list of keywords in alphabetical order. You can scroll through the index or type a term or part of a term into the search box. The list of keywords then automatically shrinks to the terms matching this. When you click the keyword you want, the help page with a related explanation displays. You can invoke the glossary if you are looking for a definition of a certain term or a technical term. The glossary contains a list of terms with their definitions in the context of the Prenect environment. The list is also in alphabetical order. When you click the term, the related definition displays in the glossary. In this way, you can view definitions of terms parallel to the text. You can filter the glossary using the search box. For example, you can mark terms on the text page and drag them to the search box. The glossary then only shows the entries matching this. Like in the index, you can also type a term or part of a term directly into the search box. You can invoke the full text search using the magnifying glass icon. In big help windows, this function is also found in the header and always displays. You can use it to browse the entire online help for any term. You do not have to enter the whole term, but the search is naturally more accurate the more precisely you define the search term. You can also combine several terms. The left column then shows you all the pages on which the respective texts were found. The information found is highlighted yellow on the pages. Some online helps also have a filter function. For example, this can be the case if a program has different setups. By selecting the appropriate filter, you can confine the table of contents to exactly those topics that match your version. You always invoke the help homepage when you click the Heidelberg icon in the caption bar. As a result, an overview of all the topics then displays again in the table of contents.